Okay, starting a little uh, outdoor bench project here. Um, I need one that will fit under the outdoor table I built uh, two weeks ago. Um, I saved everybody the time of watching me cut all these, but I wrote all the dimensions so it was nice and easy. Um, I used that miter saw there. You could always uh, saw them by hand if you want. You basically just need two pieces at 14 and a half inches, uh, eight pieces at 17 inches, and five pieces at 43 inches. Uh, in total, I think I used five two by fours. Um, just Home Depot lumber. It's, it's not the best. It's a little twisted and warped, but we'll, we're going to do what we can. Uh, my goal is to build a bench that I can slide between the legs of this table back here. Uh, actually, my goal is to build two, but today I just want to get one done. I just need it to slide between the legs. This is the one I built out of pallets um, two weeks ago. That's after it was stained. I'll stain this the same color. So heading back to the shop. Um, not a very impressive wood shop, I know. It's kind of a mess. I got pallet wood everywhere and, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll save you guys the time of watching me sand all the grade stamps and the uh, splinters off these, but I'm going to sand them down. Um, I'll stain the edges before I assemble it and go over and stain the whole thing. And then I tend to hit it with a uh, water sealer after uh, I hit that table with three coats of it, actually. Um, I'm just using an aerosol Thompson's, nothing really special. Um, so I'll get these sanded and uh, start up again when we're assembling. All right, quick update. I got all the 17 inch boards sanded. Um, they need to be glued. Uh, I figured I'd do that before I sanded the long ones. Uh, but what I'm going to do, um, I don't have enough clamps for this out here. Um, I left, the rest of them I left in my basement. Uh, I'm going to drill two pilot holes in each one of these. And when I glue them together, I'll put some small nails in just to, to hold them together until the glue sets. Um, so stick around. We'll keep it going. All right. So what I did was I started the two nails on one side. Um, and this is going to be the side I lay the glue on. Um, they didn't have the glue I wanted, so I'm actually just going to be using some Gorilla Glue. It is rated for outdoor use, but it's not my favorite. But uh, that's what I'm going to go with. So I just get a pretty good amount on there, and then I just kind of spread it with a paper towel. It's pretty easy. Just to flatten it out a little. As you nail it together, it flattens it out too. But uh, You can use a paintbrush. You can use whatever you want. Um, a paint roller actually spreads it the smoothest, but I don't have one out here, so just go in with the towel, and once I nail that together, she'll be tight as can be. So before I nail it, I've got to line these boards up, uh, clamp it, and then I'll nail it with the clamps on there, then I can reuse the clamps on the next one. Uh, well, the next three, actually. So let me see if I can set my phone down somewhere where you'll be able to see that. I think that's got it. Kind of a mishap there, but whatever. And then I'll take my clamp. I'm just doing this one kind of lightly for now. See how that warped up a little, but that's what the clamps are for. And these are just the legs of the uh, bench. Just double two by four. Um, you could probably get away with single, but I want it to be a little more stable. Most of my friends are, you know, my size, 200 pounders. Um, so that's really, you know, you want it as strong as it can make it. Uh, phone's probably going to fall over, but then I'm basically just going to hammer these in. Yeah, it fell over, but just going to hammer those in to uh, seal it together, and that'll be that. All right, I had to set you down while I did that, but see, it's just two nails in it. 
Uh, and then in about 10 minutes, I can reuse these clamps and they're just lined up. And I only did a rough sand on these, 80 grit. I am gonna go over it again with 120 before I stain it. Um, that'll give that glue a little time to dry up too. Uh, and I still have to sand all those, so the glue should have a lot of time to harden up before I really need to assemble this thing. So because I didn't really have enough clamps out here to do this, um, I got them all nailed together and glued. Uh, and then I figured I'd just put three clamps uh, on the legs all side by side. So like that's a glue up, that's a glue up, that's a glue up, and that's a glue up. Um, that'll give it enough time to dry. Uh, this Gorilla Glue takes a little longer than tight bond to dry, unfortunately. Uh, and it's also 80 degrees and humid. But we'll see. Uh, once I get dry, I gotta sand them, stain them, all that good stuff. But while I'm waiting on that, I can sand these. Um, I've already sanded the two end pieces. Um, these need to be sanded down with 80 grit and then 120 grit before I can stain them. The legs, I'm just going to stop it at 80. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. All right, I've got everything sanded. Um, it's not assembled or anything yet, but this just gives you a rough idea what the frame's going to look like. It's upside down right now, obviously. Um, but we bolt those together run our three beams in the middle, and then obviously our legs will go in each corner. Um, this wood is kind of warped, so I, hopefully I can keep this thing straight. Uh, I might have to do some finagling with the screws or whatever, but it should work out okay. Um, got a little bit of width to leave the gap in there. Uh, I did that intentionally because it is going to be outside. I want water to run through it. Um, I'm not really spanning far enough to do a cross support, but I may do one if it feels too flimsy when I sit on it. We'll, we'll find that out after. Because um, again, this isn't very long. This is 43 inches. Uh, total length is about 46. Um, so yeah, we'll, um, I'll keep you posted. Uh, but yeah, I've got it all sanded to 120. I have to assemble the frame and then I've got to stain the frame and I've got to stain the uh, inside edges on all of these before I can start assembling the rest of it. Um, assembling the frame's easy. We're going to measure in three quarters of an inch on each of these and uh, pre-drill. And then I'm using three inch deck screws, uh, again, because it's going to be outside. So we'll have uh, a pretty large amount of, of grab in there. Uh, definitely pre-drilling because these will split this SPF pretty easily. Um, so yeah, I'll do some pre-drilling and I'll get a couple screws set and I'll just show you guys. Alright, so I've got my base laid out and screwed together. Um, now it's actually back to sanding. This is going to be the bottom, but we have to clean up all this uh, edge grain here. Um, this one surprisingly is not warped at all. Um, last one I built actually was a little bit. But we'll have to smooth over these edges, um, and then I can stain it. I don't really plan on staining the inside, so I'm just that's why you still see the grade stamps there. But got to get rid of that stuff. Um, we got to clean this up. So yeah, more sanding. I won't bore you guys with sanding, of course. But this is going to be the uh, the top of it, and then the boards will just run straight across. Uh, again, I'll use three-inch deck screws to seal everything. Um, Still up in the air about a cross support. It probably wouldn't hurt to do, but I'll see if I actually need it or not, and then we'll kind of make the decision after. If it's too bouncy when I sit on it, then absolutely it'll get one. All right, so these are my three seating stringers, I guess. Um, it's time to stain the edges of them. Uh, I'm going to stain the top and the whole thing at once. Um, I have the base all assembled, uh, and the legs are over here. Still clamped, just letting that glue dry a little bit better, and then I'll sand and stain those too. Um, I'm using Rust-Oleum American Walnut. Um, it's not bad. I, I literally just use a paper towel to put it on, and then in a, a second paper towel to wipe it off. But it does make the grain really pop on here. So, then, so I'll go ahead and do all these, and then just kind of show you the final product after. All right, there it is. Um, so just wiped on with a paper towel and wiped off with the other half of it. Um, it's going to absorb more too. It's still obviously quite wet right now. Um, and we're literally just doing the edges. Um, yeah, it's going to look really good when it's done. All right, so I went ahead and stained all the areas that I won't be able to get to once it's assembled. Um, and then once I assemble it, obviously I can go around and stain the whole thing. But I did the inside um, all the way through. 
Um, the stain really does do a great job making the grain pop. Um, even on these side panels, it, nobody's really going to see that because that's going to be in between. But when I do the tops, it will look really good. Uh, and then, of course, I'll coat it with a water sealer because it is going to be outside. All right, I've got the boards laid in there. Um, now I just need to drill uh, two in each one and run some screws through them. Uh, you got to make sure your spaces are good too. This one's a little warped, you know, Home Depot lumber, that's not surprising. Um, but you want to make sure there's enough room for the water to drain through. You don't want pooling anywhere on this thing. So I'll drill some holes and run some deck th screws through and then hopefully by then my legs will be ready to be sanded and uh, stained. And then those will just bolt in right here. So I got the first one screwed in. Uh, you basically just go right in line with that screw down the, uh, the support, the side support. And we're going to do that all the way across, two in each one. Uh, and I did it on the back side as well. Uh, so you can see this one's in place. This gives us a good idea about our spacing, um, everything like that. And again, I'm just using these deck screws. I mean, these are going to bite that very deep. Um, no splitting or anything because I am pre-drilling. So, so far, so good. Uh, seems to be working out. So, I'll keep you posted. All right, so I got the top assembled. Uh, I know it looks kind of weird because of the stain on all the sides, but that's so I can just run around and stain it. But take a look, there's two end ones, and then two in each beam going down. And same on the back side. Everything fits perfectly. I do have a gap there. Probably can't see down through, but rain runoff. Um, and two, 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 and two. So yeah, now I'll stain the rest of it. Uh, then I gotta pay a little attention to the legs. I won't bore you guys with me staining it, but I'll show you the finished product. All right, bench top is stained and done. Uh, it's Rust-Oleum American Walnut. A little blotchy in a few areas, and I think the wood just didn't absorb it that well. I'll probably go over it with another coat. But still see all the screws in it, but Came out pretty good, I think, especially for outdoor use. Uh, and once I coat it with uh, some water sealer and wipe it down, it'll have a little better shine. That stuff's interesting. It's almost like a wax finish on it. Uh, but no, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, we'll hang some legs on it and see how it fits under the table. Okay, I've got all four of my legs sanded to 80 grit. Um, I wasn't going to go all the way to 120 on these just because they're the legs. I mean, who really cares? I don't love the gap that these 2x4s leave. I probably should have shaved an eighth of an inch off each side just to get rid of the round over. But it'll be okay. I mean, it's literally a bench. Um, so yeah, we'll get these stained and get them mounted up on the tabletop. And I can put it on the back porch. All right, got the legs all stained. Just have to give that 20 minutes or so to soak in and then I can um, bolt them up to the bench top. Came out good, color matched really well. Um, it's soaking in really quick. This wood must be really dry. Uh, usually Home Depot's woods are still a little bit wet, but you know, it's going okay. I haven't decided which way I want to orient them yet. Um, I'm thinking on the front and back, we'll have these pieces coming out, so then when you look at it from the long ways, it looks like that. Um, might be the best bet. And then I could hide the nails towards the inside as well. Um, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I'll probably do that. That gives it a good mounting plate or a mounting face on the uh, the long side of it. And I can still run one into each of these on the uh, short side. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, once it dries up, I'll get the tabletop over here. I'll set it on it. I'll clamp them into place and then screw it down. Make sure everything's level. All right. So I've just got it sitting on the legs now. It gives you an idea what it's going to look like. Um, just a real simple garden style bench that will uh, it'll fit between the legs on my table um, so all that's really left is four screws in each of these that way and another two this way just here and here and that'll be secure um, looks pretty good from what I can tell uh, it'll match my table perfectly and then next weekend I'll probably have to build another one uh, and then we'll need to do some end chairs too but I don't know if I'll build those out of two by fours. I do have some pallets I need to break down. Um, I'm sure everybody's seen in the background. I have a ton of pallet wood. Um, I build a lot out of those. 
In fact, my table was made out of pallet stringers. So yeah, I'll um, drill some holes, get it bolted down, and um, just show you guys how to do that. All right, so you can see I drilled my two pilot holes. I'm um, just using a clamp to hold it in place. Uh, pulls it tight on the side so it doesn't go anywhere when I screw it down. Uh, it's also nice and tight against the back here. Uh, and then we're going to wind it in and we'll go around and we'll do that the entire way. And yeah, hopefully have it on the deck within an hour. Well, there it is. Fully assembled, screwed together. That's going to slide right under my table outside. Uh, I had to build this one a little high because I built my outside table a bit high. Um, but everything fits together nice. Just a real simple outdoor bench. I'll take some photos to uh, put out of it too. But yeah, came out really good. I'm impressed. Uh, especially for how short it took me to build, build it. I had the whole thing done in about two hours and really a good chunk of that was waiting for the glue to tack up on these legs. So yeah, I think it'll be okay. I gotta build one more next weekend. I won't video that one. <laughs> I know you guys are probably tired of seeing these. So yeah. I'll put that out and I'll take a few photos of it. All right, there it is up at its final resting place. Um, see there's just a little gap on each side. That's so I can push it under the table for storage purposes um, when I'm not using it and when I put the table away for the winter. Just tuck it underneath. Um, but yeah, came out pretty great. About four and a half two by fours total and a bunch of screws. Easy project. I'll link all the uh, measurements on there too.